We are learning this morning that it could be weeks before that giant ship wedged sideways in the Suez Canal will be moved. Weeks. It got stuck on Tuesday, got blown into the shore by high winds and a dust storm, and now it's going nowhere. This is the ever given. And they're trying to figure out ways to refloat it, John. They're trying to figure out ways to get it unstuck. And they are really having a problem. This is, Heather, an enormous vessel. It is one of the biggest in the world. It is 400 meters long, the Suez Canal, 200 meters wide, which if you can imagine, as long as it keeps going straight down the middle, things are fine. Starts canting in the wrong direction, and there is what you have it. Run aground effectively. Nine tugs, they've got the high hose going, they've got the front end loaders going. They are now dredging 16 meters down. Dredging and tugging is what they're calling it in terms of the process is underway. Give you an idea of the size of it compared to say, oh, a landmark that most Canadians might be able to understand. There it is there. If you put the Ever Given on its end, Next to the CN Tower, it would be, there it is, on the equivalent of the 360 restaurant that is there on the CN Tower. So that vessel is huge. It would weigh as much as 50,000 elephants. There are 20,000 containers on board this. Uh, this is a situation that they are really stuck on. Uh, we're talking about 12% uh, of all world trade going there, 30% of all marine trade going through there. We've got now, according to Lloyd's List, 250 vessels waiting to go through the Suez Canal, and they really are stuck. Heather? That graphic shows it all. I mean, they've called this a very heavy beached whale. And uh, so, as you've shown so clearly, they're trying everything they can to get this unstuck. In the interim, you mentioned all of the pieces of equipment that are being brought to bear here to try to figure out ways to, to dig it. No shortage of memes. The internet is really weighing in <laughs> on some of it. It kind of reminds me of the story of the little engine that could, John. Uh, yes, well, we got a little tug that could in a moment, but first we'll show you some of what is going out there in terms of the memes that are, and let's roll through them here and start with it is there, a Lego recreation of it there. That is the bulbous front of it, the bulbous bow, if you you will, meant to actually allow it to flow through water better, not through sand. But there you can see the comparison done in Lego. Perhaps a series of helium-filled balloons. People are so helpful on the internet. Uh, this gentleman, in solidarity <laughs> with the Ever Given, is uh, with pandemic supplies on his back, uh, lying across his hallway. Uh, suggestions that there might be a Canadian rescue ship. Uh, of course, we... <laughs> have Theodore. a proud shipbuilding tradition in this country. Uh, perhaps not that one, but nonetheless, it could join the nine tugs already on the scene. Uh, speaking of Canadian content, here is Austin Powers. Remember him trying to get down the hallway there? Well, if he were the pilot of this vessel, it might look a bit like that. And finally, giving the high hose and the graders a little bit of chance. If you can see that, but that's a very helpful dog. Uh, that if things keep going the way they're going, perhaps even weeks stuck like this, Maybe they might want to bring in some. 